today, I'm Fiam Lara and I'll be performing the bag technique. First procedure is greet the client and introduce the self. Greeting the client to establish rapport and then introducing the self para po malaman ni client ko na po ang name ko. And then also to start a better conversation. Magandang araw po, Ma'am Ann. Ako po si student nurse Fiam ng Manila Central University College of Nursing. And then next is um, state the purpose of the visit para po malaman ni client kung ano po ang ginagawa ko sa bahay nila and then what kind of health service or care or treatment ang ibibigay ko po. So, um, andito po ako sa inyo para lang po mag-contact ng visit. Um, titignan ko lang po yung kalagay ng kalusugan niyo po. Okay na po ba sa inyo? Okay po. And then, next is um, observe the client and identify health needs. Um, observing the client to assess and gather objective data para po plan sa ibibigay na um, health treatment later. So, kamusta po ang pakiramdam niyo, ma'am? May masama po pakiramdaman? Uh, may mga sugat po kayo or kahit anong paramdaman? Ah, na may sugat po kayo. Natisod po kayo kanina. Okay, sige po. Mamaya po, dinisip po natin yan. Now, place the paper lining in a flat surface or table and then it should be clean side out. Um, uh, placing the paper lining, this protects um, the bag from getting contaminated. And then next is place the plastic lining over the paper lining and then it should be clean side in. Um, placing the plastic lining, this also pro, um, prevents the bag from getting contaminated. Next is um, place the bag over the linings and then tuck the handles. Um, tucking the handles para po hindi makasagaba while taking out all the necessary materials needed for the treatment. Next is um, open the bag. And then take out the apron, soap in dish, and towel. So, taking out first the materials needed para po hindi lahat ilalabas and to prevent na makontaminate yung mga materials. And then close the bag. Closing the bag para po hindi makontaminate yung material sa loob ng bag. Next is do thorough hand wash. Um, do thorough hand wash to protect the client, also the care provider, and prevent transmission of microorganisms. Next is um, put on the apron. Um, the purpose of putting the apron is to protect my uniform 
from getting soiled and contaminated. Next is open the bag and then take out all the necessary materials needed for the specific care or treatment and then place the waste receptacle outside the paper and plastic lining. So opening the bag to have an access to the supplies and then taking out all the necessary materials lang para po um, hindi na makontaminate yung other materials if lahat po is ilalabas. And then placing the waste receptacle outside the paper and plastic lining because the waste receptacle it will contain soiled and contaminated materials so it should be separated from the clean materials. So, my materials are alcohol for cleaning the materials later, betadine for cleaning the wound, and then pick up forcep, sterile cotton, and then kidney basin. Next is close the bag and then place it in a corner of the working space. So, closing the bag para po hindi na makapasok yung dirt and makontaminate yung clean materials. And then placing the bag in a corner para po ma-prevent na ma-prevent na makasagabal while giving the treatment to the client. Next is proceed in giving care or treatment to the client. Um, this provides care, security, as well as recovery of the client's health. So, ma'am, start na po tayo. Linisin na po natin yung sugat nyo. Simple lang po ito. Kailangan linis na po natin. Medyo mahabi lang po. Okay ma'am. Mabilis lang po ito. Sagit lang. Okay, ma'am. Atas na po. Ayan, nilalilis na po natin. Next is, um, after giving care or treatment to the client, clean or all the materials used. So, I will use my alcohol in cleaning the materials. Then next is dispose the waste receptacle. Um, the waste receptacle contains soil and contaminated materials, so it should be disposed properly and immediately. Next is do thorough hand wash and then dry the hands. This protects the care provider and also the client to prevent transmission of microorganisms.
Next is open the bag and return all the materials to their proper places after cleaning them. So, um, returning the materials to their proper places para po hindi magkagulo sa placement ng materials. And madali po ulit kunin for the next other treatment. And then next is um, remove the apron by folding it away to the client. It should be soil side in and clean side out. Removing the apron um, away from the client para po hindi na mag-transmit your microorganism kay client. And then soil side in and clean side out para po pag binalik yung apron sa loob ng bag, um, magiging in contact na lang po sa clean materials is yung clean side. Next is hold the bag and then fold the plastic lining. It should be used top in. Um, in folding the plastic lining, kailangan po na um, use top in para po ang magiging in contact na lang po sa clean materials sa loob ng bag is yung clean side. Also, to prevent na makontaminate yung mga clean materials sa loob ng bag. And then next is place it between the um, bag and its cover para po madaling ulit kunin for the next other treatment. Next is dispose the paper lining. Um, paper lining is the most contaminated material so it should be disposed properly and immediately. Next is close and lock the bag para po hindi na makontaminate yung material sa loob and hindi mahulog or mawala. Next is take the record and have a talk with the client and then write down all the necessary data that have been gathered, observed, as well as the um, treatment rendered to the client. And then instruct the client about the health in the absence of the nurse. So, taking the record and writing down all the data that had been gathered to have a reference for the next visit. And then, um, having a talk with the client by giving instruction um, to give health education to the client and give her idea and the knowledge about her health and also to take care of herself independently. So, Ma'am Ann, um, yung sugat niyo po is gagaling na po siya if um, nilinis niyo po, niyo po siya araw-araw. And napansin ko lang po is palagi pong basa yung labas ng bahay niyo. Um, try niyo po na huwag mabasa po ang inyong paa para po mabilis na gumaling yung sugat niyo po. And then, um, so ngayon pong visit natin. Um, next week po, magbibisit po ulit ako uh, Friday, um, 8 a.m. Um, November 8th. So, babalik po ulit ako dito para po i-check yung um, para po i-check ulit yung sugat nyo kung gumaling. Okay na po ba sa inyo yun? Okay po. Lastly is make an appointment um, if it is home or clinical visit and then take note the date and time. The purpose is for the follow-up care of the client. So, I already tell the client about the visit. So, it is a home visit and I will visit her next week and I also take note the date and time. 
So that's all for the um, back technique.